Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Lake Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Doing a reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Going to tap into the energy of your person as well as yourself. Going to see the shared outcome or shared energy between you and your person. And then what's going to be the outcome of the connection. So your person is showing up as forbidden in the reverse. Show me Aquarius's energy spirit. Show me the energy of Aquarius party in the reverse shared outcome or shared energy between the two toxic energy and then the outcome spirit show me the outcome between Aquarius and this person what will the outcome be so emotions bottom of the deck energy signs meanings repeated numbers synchronicities in the reverse so possibly avoiding synchronicities or signs you are being divinely guided towards some type of recognition or seeing something clearly that you have been avoiding or your person. All right. So your person is showing up as forbidden in the reverse. I'm going to clarify that now with tarot. So please don't get scammed. It's been brought to my attention that my subscribers are being solicited for private readings. Just know that I would never contact you for a personal. If you would like one, I do have them available and am uh, available through the email that I provide on my website. Please check it out on TikTok, YouTube. I am Artsy Light on both platforms and would really appreciate your support. So clarify Aquarius's person. Why is the forbidden here in the reverse? So forward momentum, the chariot to the nine of cups. I do feel that your person recognizes that they were selfish in the past in regards to matters of the heart, right? Okay. Clarify this energy for Aquarius's person. So 10 of wands in the reverse. We've got Sagittarius energy releasing some type of a burden, letting go of the weight of something. So it, it's clarifying forbidden love affair, temptations, flirting, giving into pleasure in the reverse. So I do feel that you are no longer dealing with a person that possibly puts you in third party situations. This person is releasing the guilt that they feel for how they um, how they interacted within a connection with you. Anything else, spirit? Bottom of the deck energy, we've got judgment in the reverse. This person is trying to avoid their karma for the way that they treated you. They are feeling very overwhelmed with guilt for the way that they treated you within a connection, possibly because they uh, acted on some temptation. They were, they were um, investing in third party energy, had an affair. Um, in a very committed relationship as well, I might, I might say, I feel. Give me more energy on this Ten of Wands in the reverse for the Forbidden card. Why is the Ten of Wands here in the reverse? Two of Wands in the reverse. So someone is making a conscious effort to release the guilt that they feel. Okay, bottom of the deck energy for being wanton. Queen of Wands in the reverse is a wanton energy, right? Third party energy. This person is releasing their guilt for how they treated you in a connection by putting you in third party is what I feel. This person knows that they hurt you and they know that they are going to experience karma as a result of it. But they're trying not to dwell on that too much is what I feel. So Aquarius, your energy is coming up with the party in the reverse. So let's get some more energy with tarot. Clarify Aquarius's energy in regards to this situation, spirit. Give me more energy for Aquarius. So the sun, Leo energy, seeing something clearly. Um, seeing possibly that you did not have happiness in this past connection because it's clarifying having fun, clubbing, fun with friends in the reverse. The sun, seeing that you weren't as happy as you possibly portrayed or came across um, in your previous relationship. I feel that you were under some type of an illusion with this person that didn't share your morals and values because I do feel this person was investing outside of the connection in regards to love, in regards to sex. So you are seeing that you weren't as happy as you would have liked other people to think. You are walking away from a connection where there was lying, cheating, stealing. So heavy, heavy seven of swords energy between you and this person. You are seeing something clearly. I do feel that you are moving towards a new vibration, towards happiness at this time. Give me more energy on partying in the reverse. And the sun. So that's clarified by the five of swords, to the seven of wands. So because you were deceived and you see this situation clearly now that this person betrayed you, you're setting up boundaries with this person. 
And that's been very difficult for you, but necessary because you are dealing with someone that is very manipulative, a game player, a gaslighter. Okay, so this person is not concerned with how they treated you within the connection. They're showing up with the Ten of Wands in the reverse to the Two of Wands. They are not concerned. This is a person that lacks any accountability for the fact that they did mistreat you, that the fact that they did put you in third-party energy. You are seeing this person clearly now that this person deceived you, put you in conflict, and now you are setting up boundaries. So the shared energy between you and this person is coming up as toxic, Aquarius. Give me more vibration or energy in regards to this shared energy of toxic give me more energy ten of pentacles you know there was a lot of potential in this connection right i feel there was a great investment there was possibly children involved right there was a potential to have a happily ever after that was going to influence many generations but because it was unhealthy poison delusion this person operated under an illusion had you think that they were of the same moral value as you and they were not because they were investing in third party and having um, sexual connections outside of this union. So it, there was a lot of potential, but now you're recognizing it for what it was. This person was deceptive. You, Aquarius, are setting up boundaries with this person. And now you're moving towards things that are stable investments, right, of time, energy, of of everything so you have realigned everything that you thought was your reality to something different because you were put out in the cold this person definitely pulled the rug out from under you and anything that you thought was stable they they took away from you but spirit is showing me now that you are moving in a new vibration a very slow steady grounded energy towards prosperity is what i feel Give me more energy on this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is Virgo energy. So the Sun is Leo, Five of Swords, that's Aquarius, that's your energy. And then Seven of Wands is Leo as well. So you may be dealing with someone that has Leo in their chart. And now you've walked away from this person. You've released this person recognizing it isn't your happily ever after. And you are focused on stability at this time, right? Wherever you're putting your time and energy is one of value, no longer investing in anything or anyone that is toxic is a toxic is what I feel Aquarius the tower is clarifying that energy which is telling me that this is going to be made right right you are now on a on a journey towards prosperity stability and that is just because that is your path you are not meant to be with someone who does not share your morals and values you are not meant to be with someone that would sacrifice the connection for third parties through um, love affairs, right? And the fact that you now see this person clearly allows you to be accountable in the decisions that you made and that you make because you now see that there was a lack of balance in the connection between you and this person and that you are wanting more than what this person offered you with Ten of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups. You're investing in something much greater than this moving forward is what I feel. So it says emotions are the outcome. Clarify the outcome energy for Aquarius. Why is the emotions here for the outcome? So we've got Page of Wands, Sagittarius, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles represents Virgo. We've got Page of Pentacles, which represents Virgo as well. And then the Hangman in the reverse, Pisces energy. This was very difficult because you do, you do see that this person sacrificed you as well as the connection for nothing good, right? There was a lot of work that was put into this connection. Possibly this is someone that you were married to, but you now see that they were never your um, match, vibrational match. They are not the same vibration as you. This is like waves in and out crashing on predictable. This person that you were dealing with was not a stable person. This person never had stability in their in their lives. You were the element of stability in your in their life and now you're moving towards something that's going to be of a higher vibration. Again, 5 of pentacles. This person completely um pulled the rug out from under you. You were not expecting the savagery of the disconnection of this person. I do feel that that made you feel like you weren't of value. Right, It also affect, affected your stability at your home life, possibly affected children is what I feel. So what will the outcome be for Aquarius? What advice? The lovers in the reverse, eight of wands to two pentacles. You're making a choice to invest in a new direction, 
walking away from someone that would sacrifice you is what I feel. Aquarius, you are no longer investing in someone that it would never, that would put you in third party is what I feel. Let me know if this resonates, if it's your story, Aquarius. Please like, subscribe on TikTok, YouTube. Appreciate you so much. Take care. Bye.